Don't Say a Word Mama by Joe Hayes. Rosa and Blanca were sisters. They loved each other very much. If their mother sent Rosa to the store to buy flour for tortillas, Blanca would say, Wait, Rosa, I'll go with you. If their mother told Blanca to sweep the sidewalk in front of the house, Rosa would say, Wait, Blanca, I'll help you sweep. Their mother was very proud of them. She would always say, my daughters are so good to each other. I must be the luckiest mother in this town. No, I'm the luckiest mother in this country. No, I think I'm the luckiest mother in the whole wide world. When Rosa grew up, she got married. She and her husband had three children. She lived with her family in a little house just down the street from her mother. When Blanca grew up, she didn't get married. She lived alone in a little house just up the street from her mother. One year, each sister planted a garden. They planted corn and tomatoes and good hot chilies. When the tomatoes were fat and ripe, Rosa helped Blanca pick the tomatoes in her garden. Then Blanca helped Rosa pick her tomatoes. Of course, Rosa took some of her tomatoes to her old mother, and then she told her, My poor sister Blanca lives all alone. She has no one to help her. I have a husband and three helpful children. I'm going to give half of my tomatoes to my sister, but it will be a surprise. Don't say a word, Mama. Of course, Blanca took some of her tomatoes to her old mother, too. She told her, my poor sister has a husband and three children. There are five to feed in her house. I only have myself. I'm going to give half of my tomatoes to my sister, but it will be a surprise. Don't say a word, Mama. Late that night, Rosa filled the basket with tomatoes. She started towards Blanca's house. Blanca filled the basket with tomatoes and started towards Rosa's house. The night was dark. The sisters didn't see each other when they passed right in front of their mother's house. Rosa added her tomatoes to the pile of tomatoes in Blanca's kitchen. Blanca added her tomatoes to the pile in Rosa's kitchen. The next morning, Rosa looked at her pile of tomatoes. Holy, she said, how can I have so many tomatoes? Did my, did my tomatoes have babies during the night? I better give some more of these tomatoes to my mother. The next morning, Blanca looked at her pile of tomatoes. Yee holy, she said. How could I have so many tomatoes? Did they all get so fat they split in two? I better give some more of these tomatoes to my mother. Mama now had a very big pile of tomatoes in her kitchen. She shrugged her shoulders. Oh well, she said, you can never have too many tomatoes. When the ears of corn were firm and full, Rosa helped Blanca pick her corn. Then Blanca helped Rosa pick hers. Rosa took some of her corn to her mother. She told her, I'm going to give half of my corn to Blanca. It will be a surprise. Don't say a word, Mama. Blanca took some of her corn to her mother. She told her, I'm going to give half of my corn to Rosa. It will be a surprise. Don't say a word, Mama. Each sister filled the basket with corn. That night, Rosa went to Blanca's house. Blanca went to Rosa's house. The night was dark. The sisters didn't see each other when they passed right in front of their mother's house. Rosa added her corn to the corn in Blanca's house. Blanca added her corn to the corn in Rosa's house. The next day, Rosa said, Eholi, how can I have so much corn? 
Did each here invite a friend to spend the night? I'll take take some more corn to Mama. The next day, Blanca said, Eholi, how can I have so much corn? Did each heir get married and bring home a wife? I'll take some more corn to Mama. Their mother now had a very big pile of corn in her kitchen, but she shrugged and said, Oh, well, you can never have too much corn. When the chilies turned red and hot on the plants, Rosa and Blanca helped each other with the picking. Rosa took some of her chilies to her mother. I'm going to give half of my chilies to Blanca, she said. Don't say a word, Mama. Blanca took some of her chilies to her mother. I'm going to give half of my chilies to Rosa, she said. Don't say a word, Mama. That night, each sister filled the basket with chilies and started towards each, towards each other's house. The night was dark. The sisters didn't see each other, but when they passed right in front of their mother's house, but suddenly the sidewalk lit up with a thousand camera cameras all flashing at once. There were light bulbs in the trees. There were light bulbs in the bushes. There were light bulbs on the porch. Light came pouring out of windows of the house. And out of the door of the house came Mama banging the bottom of her parasol pot with a big wooden spoon. Iholi said Rosa and threw up her hands. Iholi said Blanca and threw up her hands too. Red chilies went flying in every direction. Rosa says, Mama, what are you doing up at this hour of night? And Blanca asked, Why are you waking up the whole neighborhood with that racket? Well, said Mama, I promised you both I wouldn't say a word, but I had to do something. You know, you can never have too many tomatoes and you can never have too much corn. But what was I going to do with all those hot chilies? What are you talking about? asked the sisters. Then each one noticed the other one's basket. They figured out what had been going on. Rosa laughed and said, Now I know why I still have so many tomatoes. Blanca laughed and said, Now I know why I have so much corn. Mama laughed and said, And I know why I always say my daughters are so good to each other. I must be the luckiest mama in town. No, I'm the luckiest mama in the country. No, I'm the luckiest mama in the whole wide world. <laughs>